This is my new CNC drawer, but before I will give you a tour, let me show you how I made it. Recently I have been adding some upgrades to my CNC machine. The dust show you so in my last video and I also added the limit switches, safety switch and some other stuff like LEDs right there. And this is the table. I made it in part three and a half of making the indie mill. I welded this construction and added MDF on top to place the machine. I also mentioned that I want to upgrade this table with a drawer or shelf, something like this. And today is the day, few months later, but finally I am going to add a drawer right there. And especially for this drawer, because this will be a really big drawer, I bought that and this thing is just really, really huge. And I bought a big piece of plywood so that I can build this drawer out of that, it's 6mm thick. And one important thing to mention at the beginning of this video is that I've never built a drawer before. Actually, a few years ago I built this chair out of plywood and maybe that's kind of uh, furniture, but except for that I don't have experience with furniture making, with any kind of drawer stuff, so this will be my first drawer. And at the same time keep in mind that this video is not only about building a drawer, because that would be kind of boring. So I actually want to organize the inside of this drawer and make it really easy, really convenient to use, because I'm enjoying a lot using the CNC machine, but I have tools all around the workshop and that's really not working for me. So organizing that and making it just easy to use is what I'm going to do in this video. Step number one, drilling the holes in steel profiles and then attaching the rail to the left and right side of the table. Attaching the rails was fairly easy, of course, there was a lot of measuring if everything is in level, if all dimensions are okay. We had to also drill some additional holes in those metal rails and those are attached here and there with screws and nuts. And if it can easily lift me, I hope it will also be able uh, to lift the drawer. the build is going great, we have the walls made out of wood, we have the bottom plywood, there was one mistake with the pocket holes on the wrong side of the wood but that's not a big deal and now I need to attach this front MDF piece right here, I already have the pocket holes right here and here and now with two screws on each side I will attach it and then I will put it in its place. I decided to divide this drawer into two segments. Right there I will keep materials like aluminium and some other stuff and right here I will strictly organize this space to keep it clean. So for example when I'm not using the dust shoe I will put it right here in the special container. I will organize the milling bits. The Z-axis probe will be right there in a special place. Some keys, tools, things that are useful. And then when everything is organized I will have this Really, really nice drawer. Once the drawer was ready, it was time to start working on the organizers. Since I have a laser cutter, I decided to use it to create wooden boxes, as laser cutting is so much faster than 3D printing. Great online tool to create such boxes is MakerCase. I designed the layout for the boxes and everything that I want to have inside and I started cutting it on the laser and gluing the parts together. To control my laser cutter, I am using an open source software called VisiCut. Those boxes are designed especially for my drawer, so if you would like to replicate this project, you would have to most likely design them on your own, but with MakerCase it's very easy. I also printed some small corners to keep the collets on the top of the box and have some additional space on the bottom of the box. And I did the same thing for flat keys. 
The ER11 collet holder was also made with a laser cutter and I engraved the diameter of each collet. I usually use Fusion 360 to design such simple parts, I am exporting this sketch as the .exe file and then in Inkscape I am adding some additional text and stuff like this. 3D printing is great for a bit more complex shapes like flat keys holder or a simple screw organizer. Milling Beats organizer is made on Indimil of course, out of 15mm plywood. This part was designed in Fusion 360 including all the G-code and all the drilling was done on the Indimil. I also decided to add small wing-like things on the sides so that it's easier to take it out. So after a few hours of printing we have really nicely organized screws and also the flat keys. And after a lot of laser cutting and gluing stuff together, but laser cutting is cool because it is just so, so quick. Of course, you have to glue the things together, but still, it's just like 10 or 20 times faster than 3D printing. Right now, I have to focus on the milling bits, put them in place. As you can see, I used a pretty thick plywood to make the milling bits holders. And I drilled all the holes and I added those laser cutted wings on the side so that I can easily take those in and out. And at the same time, I also added this kind of divider on the bottom. So that first thing, this one is on top of that and it does not fall all the way down. And at the same time, I can just easily divide the stuff that is inside to different milling bits and stuff like this. And I actually have two of these. This is the milling bits compartment number one and this is the milling bits compartment number two. So now I just need to divide those milling bits, put them together and that will be it. So now there is a question of how I should organize all of the milling bits in here. I have three rows of 1 eighth of an inch milling bits, then I have some random stuff right here like 4, 5, 6 millimeters and then I have again three or two rows for uh, one fourth of an inch milling bit that is 6.35 millimeters. So because I have two of these, I think I will create one only for milling bits for wood and then the other for like metals, maybe for engraving, stuff like this, some, you know, more precise milling bits. So for example, right here I have a pretty big single foot milling bit, so that will go for the metals. So let's start with wood. That should be one fourth of an inch, so this one will go in here. Then here I have some. And here it is, everything that I need for a CNC machine in one place. Milling bits on the right and on the bottom I have just some additional milling bits and some others that I am not really using that often. Same thing right there. Uh, then there are the ER11 collets, nicely organized with engraved labels so that I know which one is which. Then we have clamps with screws so that I can just easily pick them up and screw them to the table of a CNC machine. Then we have screws, some spacers, stuff like this, and additional container that is empty as for now. Safety glasses with nice little container box, so that those are always clean with this top that is made out of plywood and 3D printed knob. Then there is the zip rope and some experimental 3D printed parts for the indie mill that I'm currently testing. Then there is just recently added dust shoe that I am keeping in this box. And flat keys with this 3D printed part that is just really really nice but simple. And here I have four corners in this box so that I have some additional space that is still not used. Then in this empty space, as for now, I will keep the screwdriver, the roller, the pencil, simple tools like this. And the last space right here in the back is for some additional stock, some additional material. I really like making such projects. I know those are not the most complicated, the most interesting, there is not really that much to explain and learn, but at the same time, those are very important in my opinion, because organizing the tools and space around you make it easier to use, and if it is easier and quicker to use, you will use it more often. So if you have any questions, leave that all in the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.